So the government mandates anti-bribery calls for uni students starting in 2023. You know, it's true what they say, you know, if you can do it, do it. If you can't do it, then teach. <laughs> <laughs> now, they're doing this because they got some numbers back and statistics show that corruption amongst Malaysians 38 years and below is uh, rather alarming. Also, 275 people between 18 to 30 have been arrested in the past couple of years for corruption offences as well. Man. Well, I mean, I guess it's good like, that they're doing this because corruption is an important issue and it'll be good to have students talk about it discuss the negative impacts and ramifications yeah it's a useful subject for sure unlike sejara whoa what did you say (laughs) i don't understand why we need to study it it's already happened we can't change it (laughs) i mean stop holding on to the past and let's all move on stop stop monitas we that's not why we study sejara okay it's so that we have an understanding of ourselves our struggles (laughs) yeah but some of the stories in there are a bit sus. Uh, yes, in North Korea, maybe. <laughs> okay, they make up all sorts of stories about their glorious leader. But I'm sure there's no such thing happening here in Malaysia. Okay, <laughs> now moving swiftly along. <laughs> I remember PJK to be quite pointless. Because we want to go out and play, not read about how to do stretching in class. Right, my favourite was PJK in the classroom. What?! <laughs> Yeah, I used to hope it rained so we get to stay in the classroom and draw charts and pyramids. Oh, oh there was actually <laughs> one time when my PJK teacher said, right, we will do practical uh, of the food pyramid. So we didn't study the chart. He took us all to the canteen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the ironic thing was that we didn't eat stuff from the food groups, you know, protein, carbo, pelawas and all that. Then what did y'all eat? Junk, la. <laughs> <laughs> some more children. <laughs>